drift. You can have a application of a herbicide that's volatile and that escapes as a gas. But I put temperature inversions in a whole nother category. I mean, yes, temperature inversions have always occurred. I think it, there's never been a herbicide where it mattered as much as it does with dicamba. Somewhere on the order of half to two thirds of the months of the summer, there are temperature inversions, kind of pretty much one per day. Morning fog is a sign of a temperature inversion. Dew is a sign of a temperature inversion. So there's all these things that we can see and predict, or maybe you have a smoke bomb or you have a fire and you've ever seen that the smoke just kind of, it goes up a little ways, maybe five or six feet, and then it kind of runs horizontally along the ground, never rises. That's a temperature inversion. They start um, generally anywhere from five, six, seven o'clock, and they'll persist for eight to 10 hours throughout the night. And those are periods of time that if we have not done everything right with our application, then Dicamba can either volatilize into a temperature inversion and move off site, or if we happen to have sprayed at five, six, or seven o'clock and there was a temperature inversion occurring, you have all these fine particles and they, they just kind of hang in the air and they don't land. The fields that I saw where from one end of the field to the other, the, the entire field was completely injured. 80 acre field, 100 acre field, no difference whatsoever. The whole thing looked the same way. To me, that's probably temperature inversions. And uh, so we are still concerned about temperature inversions for 2017. But our advice is, we're just telling growers, you know, for this year, let's just stay away from those later evening applications and uh, make sure that we're not going to have off-site movement through a temperature inversion. Mm -hmm.